Hi everybody, welcome back. Guess what we're playing again? That's right. Agario. Have with you changed uh, Nazi your symbols and octopuses all over the place on this guy. No, Are you I'm still, still going with Is that okay with you? you? There's loads of cool names, right? Yeah. After last time, I failed to get candidates for, for candidacy for Donald Trump. I'm now Boris uh -huh. Johnson. You've oh changed to Boris a Johnson. giant okay. uh, Richard Swastika Dawkins. Swastika and octopus guy. Oh my oh, god. Okay, it's Dawkins. Just see if you can okay, see him. There's like, there's like two He's giant... He's a very polarizing personality. Just stay away from him. <laughs> I'm being attracted to his large mass. Oh, You're being I think like, it's just sucked Dawkins. in by his... See if you can find beautiful, him. His beautiful fucking eyes. Where are okay. you? <laughs> I'm near Puki Mamamakao. Oh, shit. I think I'm close to you. I think I just saw Puki Mamamakao as well. Nope. No, oh, it's the swastika guy with the octopuses. Oh, Where yeah. do you even get those symbols? He Are they like Greek badass. or something? No, you just go into oh. like character map and you go to yeah. like wingdings. It's like how they wingdings. do the um, all those stupid oh, yeah. symbols for like flipping the table and stuff. You know what I mean? I found Pikachu oh. and Fafa. Are you close to either of them? No, no, I'm not. I'm. It always. It always takes us some time to find each other, but in the end, it's worth it, right? Come to the top. Because then you just devour me. Top right. Top right. Yeah. Okay, I'm at top right right now. I Pai? found Pai, Pai Gala. Yeah. El Mayor. Who's number one on your leaderboard right now? Adnan. Okay. I'm about to eat a Russian. Oh. Shit, I'm lagging a little bit. Oh, oh my god, Pikachu just ate me. I was in the top right, Lewis. I'm not anymore. I'm oh. sorry. I'm near watch the, out if you're the, going top right. Watch out who for who is this Pai, guy? He's Pai so Galan. big. Oh, it might be Set Blatter. Oh, oh, I think it is. It's Set Blatter. <laughs> it looks like it's Richard Dawkins. Dawkins. He's gone. Richard football. Hawkins. Richard Hawkins. Stephen Hawkins' his brother. Yeah. Richard. Oh, I see. God. Come up here. Clever, You've got to see Set Blatter. Dick. He's fatter than okay, ever. I'm coming. And older than ever. Shit. Okay, I found. Packed. And Thug Life. You see those guys? Oh, shit. Gotta be careful. Sit. I'm trying to make my way to top right. I'm really small. How small? Uh, I've got some offers here for feeding, and I can join a team. The Amigo team. There's also um, agariomods.com. I guess that's like a little bit of advertising. Cheeky advertising. Okay, I'm like, I'm pretty much top right now. Okay. I'm in the top right corner. I'm up here too. Ariaman. Can you see him? Oh, my God. Chig, ching, chig, chig, TW help is up here. The moon is pretty big. Be careful. Be be careful. I think maybe we're like not in the same area because I always see is Brazil. Pikachu, Pai Gala. Oh no! And just Owen. Oh my God, Amigo small. team. He ate me. He's really big. Oh, you found Amigo team? Yeah. Shit. Okay, I found him too. Did he just eat you? Yeah. He's yeah, about yeah. to be eaten by Pikachu, and really? maybe. Fakao Kogu. Oh my god. W equals Amigo. This Amigo team is just like a huge fucking... Oh my lord. They're like tycoons out here. These guys are all working together to get the job done. How do... Man. I how... don't even know why. Oh how shit, do we, I just How do we join a team? Oh, I did not. We need some more allies. We, we need to feed each other and work together and not devour each other as soon as we possibly can. Okay. Because that's what happened last time. You just ran into me and ate me. That's what happened in the in the presidential candidate. It was Donald Trump yeah. versus shitting butts, and then yeah, Donald Trump devoured a shitting butt. And then the that thing. ended his career. They both of them they sabotaged each other's careers. It's like late, think, it's like labor in the Lib Dems. Do they you could, think Donald Trump is going to make a good president if he wins? Oh, when he wins. Yeah. <laughs> See, Americans love. They love. Uh, Characters. They love a, a Trump, don't they? They love oh, a shit. character. Is that you, Boris? Are How you bad Boris is Ronald Reagan? Um, pretty bad. I mean, I think the Reagan years are sort of looked back on as being pretty bad times for mm -hmm. a number of reasons. So, I don't know. Do you think Trump is going to be another Reagan if he gets in? Uh, Oh, shit. shit but is that you? Careful, yes. Yeah. Follow Boris. I see you. <laughs> Boris, you're in a lot of trouble. I think Pact were... Really wants you. Okay, don't eat me. All right, Boris. Boris is I'm hungry. You. <laughs> Boris, Boris did not eat his Boris breakfast would like this a morning, shit butt young shitbutt. Devil, this is a sanic. 
no, no. avoid okay. that. We need right, to find some smaller prey to eat, shitbutt. Yeah, yeah, I'm picking up all the confetti here. The party confetti. Look, I'm getting big. We have to be careful not to eat one another. Okay, we're working together. Yeah. Okay, so last time, Lewis, we played this, we talked about the whippy challenge. Yeah. I mean, I've been to Bristol a couple of times. You've been to <gasps> Jersey now a couple of times. Ooh. Next time I come to Bristol, what kind of challenge Ooh! can we do there instead of in Jersey? And are you okay? I I've just been be eaten dead. by whatever the heck that was. It was some massive what, explosion. A, a Guja Dinamica? Do you, 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 do you say you means? want some sort of eating challenge? Yeah, why not? Like, a, could you eat why spicy shit stuff? Not? No. Okay, right, so that one's out the window. What about, I mean, yeah. you, you need to talk to Hat Films about this, really. They, what are, they, you, are you saying that there's some sort of spicy Bristol challenge available, though? Uh, well, there is, like, always, there's always spicy challenges, isn't there? You know? It's like there's definitely spicy challenges all that are always available should a man want them. But if right. you want to join a real one, you have to talk to Hat Films and do yeah. like their horrible chicken nugget challenge, which is really gruesome. But the thing is, as a vegetarian, right, a lot of these uh -huh. challenges are kind of out of bounds to you because, you know, they have these competitions, don't they? Like hot dog eating. Mm -hmm. um, there's vegetarian hot dogs, though. Oh, that's true. That is very... I and I love think. hot dogs. Yeah. Hmm. Could you do a hot dog eating challenge? What would your technique be? I don't be? know. I don't know about eating challenges. Like, a whippy's kind of different, right? Because you don't mind getting sick off eating ice cream. I would mind getting sick off eating, like, processed meats and stuff like that. I think that that would be, like, a different kind of hellish sickness. Hmm. Because, like, if you just ate tons of whippies and then you threw up, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? Smell pretty nice. You know, it would just look like you just vomited up like a copious amount of jism. But no, no, no. Uh, Remember but like the end meat products? of It the... just looks gross. Were you there on the day we did the challenge in that warehouse where we set fire to everything? We built the Oh, bikes. no, I wasn't there, but uh, I remember Smithy telling me that it was really gross and that the milk was sour and it was making him gag. It was... And he smelled it like was, it was shitty freshly, milk. Freshly whipped whippy cream and man it just Ugh. went it went very gross very very quickly i think it, yeah it apparently was, like everyone in the car ride home was gagging and everything yeah i think that that unless it's like i think that the whippy ice cream is not like i'm not gonna go and, i don't think it's the finest quality ice cream. i'm not gonna dis i'm not gonna like dirty the name of whippy okay? whoa what are but, you, some sort of like ice cream connoisseur or something? Or maybe, maybe you can indulge me with what is the greatest and fanciest ice cream? Like, what kind of ice cream would they eat at like a five star Michelin restaurant? Oh my god! Like, you mean like what? Like um, the gastronomic place of Hugo Fontenay or whatever his name is? You know that really posh restaurant, the Fat Duck. What's it called? No. Or whatever. Um, you know the one. I mean, obviously, where you're, they do you're running in social circles that are completely no. What are you talking about? Like you're not talking really... about that fucking guy that like shows you how sh stuff is made with like all the breaks it down, and he ends up with like a vat of like DDT or whatever. It's like, did you know that they're putting this stuff in your chicken and just like mushes it all up and everything? No, you know what I'm talking about like Heston oh, Blumenthal. You know, yeah, his, his oh restaurant. that guy. Yeah, where you have just like, like goes outside and he's like, yeah, I wonder what rocks are gonna taste like with this um, filet mignon. Let's try it out. It's all. No, it's not that. That's it's all he like, does. No, 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 no. It's like it's like it's like flavor. It's like because they have this, the snail porridge, don't they, or whatever the snail ice cream oh. porridge or whatever. They have all sorts of crazy stuff, right? And the flavors are like yeah, really well balanced together. Stuff that you wouldn't think of, right? So okay, but uh, equally, I would never eat snail porridge. That just sounds fucking revolting. Well, yeah, but it sounds. I don't care how good it, it tastes. Isn't. That's yeah. the point, right? That's the whole is, point. Though. That it's like you. It's like it's like you watching the Terminator Genesis film. Okay. Uh huh. You told me. I'm ready. I'm ready for you this. You told yeah. me. Okay. I'm gonna see this shitty film because I know uh -huh. it's gonna be terrible. And then when you got yeah. there, expecting it to be terrible. It was it was it was okay. Is that is that, is yeah. that your words? 
something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing. I mean, right? I, I, there's a, I had a very similar experience while you were over here and we went to see Mission Impossible, That's which right. honestly I thought was going to be total dog shit. But I went along anyway thinking, you know what? Maybe if it's bad, it'll be so bad that it's funny. You were just actually turned mocking out to be Tom okay. Cruise's wrinkly scrotum face, and, you know, complaining <laughs> about his hairline and stuff, and, and saying, hey, he's too old. But Tom, if you're watching this, for the record, I don't think you've got a scrotum face. He was f- beautiful looking and very solid in the acting department and the stunts department. Very scrotum like. It was he very was he solid. Did some, he did some cool stunts, um, albeit with a wrinkly scrotum like face. Um, very funny scene when he's holding onto the side of the plane and his wrinkly ass scrotum face <laughs> is just flapping in the wind. That was funny as hell. Holy shit. I mean, they really bigged up that scene, but fuck me, was it funny to behold, wasn't it? It was, it wasn't, like, a, I mean, it's not stuff. a comedy film. I will just say that, but man, you were just giggling the whole way through. I think you had a good time. Yeah, I thought it was, and I did. I had a decent time, yeah. You went in with a low expectation, okay? So the snail porridge yeah. is exactly the same, right? Or snail right. ice cream. You don't think, oh, you think that's going to be gross. And then when it isn't, you're mildly pleased, right? And relieved, you know? So well. it ends up being a good thing. It's like calling something shit pudding, okay? Yeah. You don't want to uh-huh. eat it, but actually when it turns no. out that it isn't horrible, it's good. Do you understand? Uh, but it it's still shit pudding, though. Mm, but it's nice, though. It tastes nice. You've still eaten shit. Not, well, if it, not if it tastes nice. What's wrong with snails? Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess people do eat snails, right? Like, oh, like oh, the French I see. eat snails. Are the snails covered by your vegetarian diet? I well, I don't know actually. Do they count? Do snails have feelings? And is are that they why like, you're a um, vegetarian? Do you think they have snail batteries in France? Snail batteries? Were they what, like battery farming yeah, yeah. snails? Yeah. Do you think they do that? Uh, even if do they, think do, they do, mistreat... do, you think they have a problem with it? Do you think they mistreat all those snails? Oh my um, god. I am watching like the feeding frenzy of 2015 right now. What's happening? This guy, there's this really gigantic guy helping out his teammate by just feeding him relentlessly snails, um, convincing him that somehow they're going to taste good. But I think he just thinks, I don't oh. care what this tastes like. I just want to get big. Oh, man. Are you watching this in, in Agaria or somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, no. I'm much just watching a movie about, uh, about a man about feeders about a man feeding his wife, just tons snails. of KFC and stuff, and like fucking rubbing rubbing down her big leathery fat fat flaps because they get like all calloused and stuff. Gross! Isn't the human body incredible though? So I'm like just, it can I'm deal just, with a lot I'm of just, shit, right? I'm still sort of just trying to decide whether or not snails count as part of your vegetarian diet the thing is sometimes your vegetarian diet seems like a diet of convenience it's like it's like well, would you like to try this thing oh no i can't i'm vegetarian you know it's like you know it's, it's like, like it stops yeah. you from it's being a great excuse to get out of a lot of stuff right yeah you know, it's like uh yeah have you if you, do you want to try this this really nice thing i put together oh no sorry uh, it's all right. It's perfectly no, good for vegetarians. Could, oh no, no, I can't eat. I couldn't possibly. Can't eat asparagus. Yeah. I, I can't eat avocado because oh, they're like, yeah. they're like the um, koala asparagus bears. Asparagus is actually quite nice, but the, the thing is, you shouldn't what? eat asparagus when you you know that you're going to be going somewhere. Like you know you're going to be going somewhere and you're going to have to pee in public, because that piss is going to stink like there's no tomorrow. Like asparagus does it to you. But how really many does. times do you? go and pee in public like, well i mean how many it, times it depends. in the last like, 10 years have you peed in public oh well like every at least once a day oh yeah okay just out there on the street but no like no i'm not saying like peeing out in the street like, like you know if you go to work news than whiffy fans i think you think because we went to the end of that massive pier right which was like in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and there was yeah. like a loo <laughs> on the end of it <laughs> They look nice too. It's a they look really like clean and miles. like inviting. Yeah. I was like, I was like, man, I could just. I think it's it's a shame not to have a pee here. You know, they yeah, put yeah. one all the way out here. Yeah, I mean, having said that though, you did not pee 
in that toilet. I didn't know, but I did think about I, washing my hands just to get. <laughs> no, you're just filled with a bitter it. regret now. Just <laughs> why didn't I use it? I'll it was ready. It's time. Look, look, I have to save something clean. for when I come back again. I can't do That's everything. True, yeah. I can't see all the sights of Jersey. Well, go. That's you know. true. You don't. F- oh, shit! I was so big. I just got eaten. Oh, how I think big that were was you? Prob- that was probably my best round. I was huge. I was really big. Are you just not being careful, or are they are they sniping you? It's like half and half. I've just seen Putin. Holy shit! Oh my god, yeah. Putin! Yeah, he's here. Oh, <laughs> oh no, Boris! Oh no, Putin ate you me. About, you just went With straight into butt. Putin. You weren't even thinking. I I know. I was mesmerized. He looks so fucking handsome he in that look picture. Good, he? God, he looks great. You can see why his wife fucking loves him, eh? Holy shit! He's a really hot body a, as well. He's a stallion. Have you ever seen him without a shirt on? Holy shit! I mean, I'm not gay, but I'd be gay for Putin. Uh-oh. I might have just what? trapped myself into a corner here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh, shit. The big, the, when the big, the big blobs trap you in a corner, you're all in trouble. Yeah. You're always in trouble, yeah. You don't want to get bullied into that corner. That's why you got to stay in the middle uh, and then just slowly eat all the confetti and build yourself up into something great and big and glorious and sexy as well just build up those muscles like putin has that's right putin goes horse riding every day and you wouldn't think it right you wouldn't think that you would build up lots of muscles riding a horse but it requires different muscles okay when you ride a horse you need core muscles that's why people do things like yoga and pilates and stuff like that because it builds up your core muscles your core muscles will devour all of that fat and all those fucking carbs and everything else that you're pumping into your goddamn body every single minute of the day. All those whippies. And that's why Putin is in such stellar condition. Because, you know, his butt and, like, his legs and all those muscles that you need to ride a horse are, like, in tip-top shape. Right. And he himself has become quite the stallion. Ironically, through riding stallions. (laughs) (laughs) That... Oh, just the wisest words I've ever heard. I know. Fucking plenty more where that came from. Horse noise. Maybe um, maybe we'll save them for next time, though. Yeah? Yeah, we can't give people too much wisdom. <laughs> a, a horse. Yeah. Uh, let's end on that note. A horse riding a horse. <laughs> Why not? It's great. He's, he's fucking tip-top. Save some wisdom for people. next time. Okay. All right. Ciao, Benny. Okay. See you next time. Bye.